Hey guys, how you doing? It's me, your boy Serrano. Um, I'm back with another video today on how to, um, this one's called how to factory reset your LG Stylo 2 Plus for Metro PCS. Now, um, I'm not really a fan of factory reset only because, um, I hate starting back from scratch. I hate having to um, find every single app and everything that um, I have on the phone right now and trying to um, retain that information so that after the factory reset, you know, I could keep my pictures, my contacts, my apps, my notes, um, my, you know, those are the things that are important to me on here. So basically, this is going to hurt a little bit to um, strip my phone of everything that it has. Um, of course, I could get everything back. It's just a matter of remembering um, what I put on the phone and how to get it back. Well, today I'm going to make that step easy for you. Basically, uh, for me, the reason why I want to factory reset this phone is to fix a glitch um as you guys saw in my last video um once i took the stylo pen out right here and um you could see the quick toggle uh, menu pops out as you could see all the buttons are here clearly but um one of the things i noticed was um my pop memo feature right here has a glitch and it doesn't actually open anymore what happens is it turns translucent let me show you so it turns translucent and um the memo um app never um actually um shows itself so today what i'm going to do is i'm going to I did a video um, on how to back up your phone um, and save files from the um, internal to the SD card. Well, today I'm going to show you guys how to actually back up the phone's uh, information right here live for you guys. So what you do is you go into that settings mode right here and then you go into the backup and reset option now um i have no memory on my sd card so i'm gonna save all my information today into my internal so what i'll do is i'll go to um if you read here it says lg backup lg backup is um backup copy data such as call reject list messages image images and home screens so um also you can go I, you could see i have backup my data is on um google backup then i have um backup account and i have um automatic restore also on so um as you could see that feature right there um and um, they actually changed the screen in this new um, update. So this screen, when you go to backup and reset, is different than it was in my prior video after I did the, the, the latest software of um, LG MS 550 10R. And I was, prior to that, I was on the 1055, um, I was on the, LG MS 550 10P. So yeah, they um they actually changed it where you don't have to like do it the way I uh, explained on my video. If you go to my channel, you could see that the backup and reset option is different from there to here. So um let's see. We'll explore a few different things here. Just make sure um that when I do reset my phone, everything will be back to normal. And um, let's see, storage, mini. 
All right, so we'll go back uh, into the backup screen and we'll go to factory reset. I'm gonna click that button. And as you can see right here, it says, <clears throat> this will delete all data from internal storage, including login for Google accounts, system and app data settings, and all downloaded apps, digital rights, music and um, other user data active accounts it has all my accounts um, and I'm gonna click um, reset phone now it's gonna ask me to enter a pin and I will do that right now it says Delete all data and downloaded apps. This cannot be undone. Well, ladies and gentlemen, get ready for the suspense. I'm going to do it. I'm going to uh, reset my phone. Your phone will reset twice. This may take longer than usual. Do not remove battery during factory reset. Okay. Here we go guys, it goes to the LG Life's Good screen, right here. Once I set my phone to factory reset, then it goes back to that screen and resets twice just like it said it would. As you can see, my phone is onto that Android character that we always see during the updates. It says erasing right next to them. Um, so after that it goes back to the LG Life's Good screen powered by Android um, now it's going on to the screen of the Metro PCS on the nationwide network T-Mobile network and um Essentially, it's erasing all my data right now from the phone and resetting itself. And, um, you know, it said do not remove battery during this process. It said don't power off. It, it didn't say I couldn't put my pen back in the phone, so I'm going to just do that real quick. Um, let's see. All right, the pen's back in. Um, we're gonna let this um, factory reset happen here. And um, here you can see it says, um, Android is uh, starting optimizing two of five's apps. Two of five apps, this may take longer um, depending on apps. So, um, now my screen is actually saying finishing boot and it says Android is starting. Um, so that, that, that was kind of quick for, for um, you know, if, if my screen boots up on the next screen, that'll be great. Um, but we'll see right here. It says finishing boot, Android is starting. And here we're, we're doing a factory reset on the LG Stylo 2 Plus from Metro PCS. Um, basically, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and fix that quick toggle feature that um, I want to see if this, is, is it, this um, factory reset will actually be able to fix it. So... Um, now I'm gonna, you know, go to the next screen. It says SIM card is recommended to be used with the phone. Turn um phone off. Turn turn off your phone and insert a SIM card. Or I could just skip that. Then it says uh, internet connection right here. Wi-Fi and mobile network. Uh, I'll turn the Wi-Fi on. 
and um, I'll click next. Let's sk uh, skip it anyway. And um, it's gonna ask me this the time, but we'll just skip that as well. And um, I'll go ahead and you know type my name in. As you know, my name is Serrano. Um, you guys don't need to know my last name. <laughs> Let's see. Next. So now we're at the fingerprint setup. Protect your phone. Let me click next. Add a fingerprint or, um, you know, things like that. So we're going to just do, uh, Let's do a, a pin for right now. It's going to ask you to enter it in twice. And then the next screen comes here and it says lock screen on notifications. Select what notifications show on the screen. Um, let's see. Let's just go to the next screen. And now it's going to ask me to set up the fingerprint. I'll place my finger on the fingerprint scanner and I'll just keep touching it over and over again in a different area it wants me to do. So I'll just keep doing that until I get to 100%. Okay. So now it says fingerprint is added. Do you want to add more? And I'll click add one more because I like to use either my pointer or my middle finger. So those are the two fingers that I'll use here. Um, it's at 50%, 75%. Okay, so now we're just going to go to next. Now that I have those two fingers added in. I'll add my other hand later on. Um, I know you could use up to six, I believe, but let me just see. It's going to say Google Services. I'm probably going to set up. Um, I'm going to have to agree to everything here. Next. And then um, it says set up from old device. You can copy data from old device. Set up now. So. This is where it says um, the LG backup, where you can load all the data back to your device. It uses NFC or something like that. Um, we're not going to do that right now, though. Let's see. Go back. What I really want to know is, um, will the quick toggle feature um, actually work? So it's asking me to check out my screen. I actually want to know what system up, um, I'm using right now. Since I did I'll do the update and then I did a factory reset. So I'll just go into about phone and um, I'll do software info. And as you guys can see, I'm still on the MS 550 10R, which is the latest software for the Metro PCS. So the only thing this did was wipe out all my apps and information and stuff like that. But I can also just retain it through the backup services that they do offer here. Uh, let's just grab the pen. This is the moment we've been waiting for. And I'll pull out that quick toggle feature. And, uh, you know, this I'll feel real stupid if this doesn't work, but let me just go ahead and click pop memo. Let me see. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I have my um, pop memo feature back. And um, that just fixed the problem I had with the LG Stylo. Um, if you have a problem with your LG Stylo pop menu, um, all you have to do is do a factory reset and um, you'll be good to go. As you can see, 
I didn't have this option prior to the video and now I have it back and I'm really happy that um, I was able to do a factory reset and gain um, one of my features back so if you found this video helpful uh, hit that like button uh, subscribe to my vent my channel for more videos just like this I'll got I'll check you guys on the next video with your boy Serrano and peace